Today, we are delving into the intricate dynamics of a MC and its looming short squeeze scenario. We'll explore the interplay of on-balance volume OB, synthetic shares, and the broader implications for retail investors and short sellers. Let's unpack why a MC's current market situation presents a significant challenge to those betting against it. Hey, welcome to a MC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. So you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. First, let's understand OBV or on balance volume, a technical analysis indicator that combines price and volume data to show the buying and selling pressure. Currently, AMC's OBV is at an all time high, which is crucial because a rising OBV suggests that volume is heavier on up days. When the stock price also rises, OV confirms the price uptrend, indicating increased demand for the stock, a fundamental aspect of a healthy market trend. For MC, we're witnessing an influx of investors daily, which translates to more buying activity than selling. This constant accumulation should theoretically drive the stock price higher due to increased demand while the supply remains constant, especially since retail investors are holding on to their shares and not flooding the market with them. However, despite the rising OB in demand, AMC stock price is falling, hinting at an underlying issue synthetic shares. In a standard economic model, an increase in demand with constant supply should boost the price. The anomaly in AMC's case suggests the creation of synthetic shares to artificially increase the supply and suppress the stock price. These synthetic shares are essentially phantom shares, which means they don't actually exist in the market but are used to manipulate the price. This tactic dilutes the demand's impact, causing the price to stagnate or fall despite high buying pressure. The rising OB and falling price signal a significant discrepancy. The creation of synthetic shares to counterbalance the organic buying pressure is evident, and this practice is unsustainable in the long term. Eventually, these synthetic shares will need to be covered, posing a massive risk for those holding short positions. The burden on short sellers is monumental. For every synthetic share created, there's an obligation to cover that position. With the retail community holding their shares steadfastly, the available supply for shorts to cover is dwindling, exacerbating the potential squeeze. As demand keeps rising, the artificial suppression through synthetic shares will eventually reach a breaking point, leading to a dramatic price surge when shorts scramble to cover. Drawing parallels with GameStop GME, the situation is strikingly similar. Genie's historic short squeeze showcased the power of retail investors against overleveraged short sellers. A tweet from Samuel Clemens highlighted that the perceived bag holding on the retail side is significantly overshadowed by the short side. Essentially, shorts have more to lose as their positions are not only on existing shares, but also on the synthetics they've created. This imbalance suggests a much larger exposure for shorts compared to the retail investors holding their positions. For MC, the tokenization of shares has further complicated the scenario. Tokens representing a MC shares allow for debt wrapping and share location, which contributes to the synthetic share creation. As more tokens are created, the short positions become more convoluted and risk-laden. The manipulation extends beyond synthetic shares, an analysis of trade patterns in dark pools, a private exchange where large trades are made reveals discrepancies. Trades at significantly higher prices than the market price indicate a scarcity of real shares. This is crucial because it shows that institutional investors are willing to pay a premium in dark pools to settle trades without impacting the market price dramatically. A case in point is seen in the trading of GME, where after hours prices spike significantly above market prices, suggesting attempts to settle trades without causing a market rally. Similar patterns in AMC indicate a lack of real, liquid shares in the market, pushing prices higher in private trades. The retail investor community, led by influential figures like Roaring Kitty, has exposed how algorithms manipulate stock prices by processing buy orders through dark pools, thus avoiding immediate impact on the lit market. During live streams with significant viewer engagement, Buy orders were held back and processed later to suppress upward price movements, illustrating a deliberate strategy to manage retail investor psychology. 
This manipulation highlights the lengths to which short sellers and their supporting institutions will go to maintain control over the market. However, as awareness grows, these tactics become less effective and the pressure on short sellers increases. Recent data shows an astronomical increase in short seller volume, far surpassing levels seen during previous peaks like January 2021. This surge indicates a desperate attempt to control the stock price despite overwhelming buying pressure. The implications are clear. As the short interest balloons, the eventual covering will lead to an explosive upward movement in stock prices. In summary, AMC's current market situation, driven by unprecedented OV levels, synthetic share creation, and aggressive short selling, sets the stage for a potential short squeeze of historic proportions. Retail investors, by holding their positions, exert continuous pressure on short sellers, who face mounting losses and an inevitable reckoning. The dynamics at play highlight a pivotal moment in the market where retail power challenges institutional manipulation, paving the way for a significant market correction. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about a MC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.